This hotel has a reputation for being one of Mogadishu's most secure. Diplomats, foreigners and visiting heads of states often stay here when visiting the Somali capital. A suicide bomber rammed a lorry packed with explosives into the outer wall of the Jazeera Hotel, destroying eight rooms and devastating the immediate area. The BBC's Mohamed Moalimu was one of the first on the scene. I looked at the window and I saw a huge blast, huge smoke coming from the scene. Uh, and at that time people were shouting, this is the second largest or biggest uh, blast that I have ever had in, in, in Mogadishu. The Islamist militant group Al-Shabaab have claimed responsibility. The Al-Qaeda-linked group said it was responding to assaults by an African Union force and the Somali government. A huge explosion at this hotel was carried out by anti-peace agents. Many have been killed and many others were also injured. This is un-Islamic because most of the people killed were innocents. Al-Shabaab is battling Somalia's government for control of the country. The capital has been a frequent target. This latest incident happened as the US President Barack Obama was leaving Kenya for Ethiopia, during which he'd had discussions about dealing with a threat from Al-Shabaab. Katerina Mo, BBC News.